Welcome to No One Survived. This is a quick guide to how to do a few basic things within the game for when you first start out. First of all I'm going to show you how to create yourself a fire. So using the hammer, if you don't already have a hammer, we easily just press tab, go to the hammer icon, and then we'll click on construction hammer. It'll show we need one log to make a construction hammer and we just click on the word make. We already have them, I've already got a few ingredients ready to go. Press number five, this is where my construction hammer is. If you look on the information on the bottom right hand side, we'll show you the middle mouse to open up the inventory. We go to outdoors, we hover over fire, we left click and we place it where it's green, we can place, if it's red it's an area where we can't place. We just left click on the ground, it puts a template, get rid of the hammer icon, I press on 5, and now we need to know what we need to put inside to craft it. E to add all the material, F to add all the material. Materials we need is one stick and six stones. I've already gathered that, so what I'm going to do is press F and place it all together. And there we are, we've made a simple fire. Now how do we cook on the fire? We already start off with a cooking pot, we can place the cooking pot into here and now we have three slots at the top and three around the fire. Around the fire is usually for raw meat and you can put some of the tins in this location. Be careful when you put them on the top because if you put two of the same item at the top and you try and do the cooking once you put wood in the fire it will combine these two and not make a proper recipe and then you'll get a spoiled you know, piece of meat and there's nothing you can do with that so if you were going to cook both of those two together I'd be putting them both to here or just do them one at a time so how do we cook so we'll do one of them, straight away we'll do one of them so we'll place one up here and now we'll place a log into the fire and click cooking this is how long it's going to take until the log burns out. When we hear a ding, you'll see this turn into a meal. And all we do is we simply drag it to the So it's a raw can, you get plus 5 carbohydrate, plus, five, plus 25 protein, plus 20 physical strength. You've got a buff of plus 300 duration, plus 10 endurance cap, and plus 3 stamina. And when it's a cooked meal, you don't get that same buff. So right click, click on eat, and it will add those buffs to you. You have nothing here. Now if I eat, right click and eat without cooking it, right up here, this blue icon, you can see you've got a buff. So some meals are good cooked, some meals aren't cooked. So let's move away from the fire for now. How do we make get clean water? Well, from the rain, we're the rain catcher, but it makes dirty water. From the lake, when we get down there, you have to believe that F to clean yourself or E to drink the water. If you drink the water from the lake now, you will get malaria. So if you press tab, we can see we're slightly dirty. So I'm going to press F to clean myself. And you'll see this button up in the corner. Clean. And now, how do we get there? So we drag one of the containers onto the words and hear that splosh. 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 Now these are filled with dirty water. What we have to do is we have to go back up to the fire. And we have to purify that water. So heat to the fire. We'll go this one because it's got three capacity. We'll drag to each one of these slots. Another login. Put two in now. And then we have to pick the word cooking. 
So now they have to do this until when it goes blue. Too wet. Okay, it must be something. So as you can see, it's starting to rain, so we can't cook in the rain. Now that the rain stopped, we'll try that again. We now place a log into the fire and click cooking. When our orange water droplets go blue, then they'll be ready to collect. So we grab the bottle, we drag it onto the droplets. And because this holds three, we can grab all three. So I'm just going to add the dirty water. The small ones only hold two. up with clean water. We've already filled the other one with the other one droplet and then this will go blue. We'll be able to fill it with another droplet. So now we've got clean water and we won't get malaria from the water. So they're currently here. If you start going into this area you're going to find moose and we're going to find boars. Moose are fairly easy to kill, they're not too fast, you can quite easily shoot them. The boars are very hard and aggressive, it takes more shots. You've got to make sure you make every round count, and if you're using your pistol, it's going to take more than those seven rounds and move out of the way, otherwise you're going to get gored by the, by the boars. Here's a rabbit over here. We bore it to grab our bow, right click to aim, and left click to fire. We then need to have our knife in our hand to skin it. So when we get over here, we'll get the word E, pick up the steel arrow, and then to skin the rabbit. So I've just found a ball. The springtime is when it seems to come out. Almost 14 rounds it took to take it down. So we got out of that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pork and one skin. Here is where they seem to spawn. I found a couple of stags now in the same location. this one instead. 
Let me make sure there's nothing else coming after us. Nope. Use our knife. We collected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten venison and one skin. Just a uh, range. Else, if you want to turn them around, you press R and it rotate. This was here again, just by that house, by that hut. Now we've got the various different kinds of meat. We'll show you how we can cook them. Okay, so if we just put the meat, the venison, the pork, and the rabbit around the outside, and I'm going to do a venison. Tomato, a carrot, even though it says radish. And we cook it up. So in it, we make minestrone soup. With the pork, let's let's uh, with the uh, venison. Let's see what the pork makes. So it doesn't matter what we cooked; just the regular meat, it all comes back out exactly the same. Minestrone, minestrone, so they all come back as being minestrone soup, carbohydrate, protein, and strength. And there we have it, basic cooking of the food. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed what you see and it helped you out. I'll make another video shortly about resources and crafting.